Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys. Wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi. At the moment, I'm functioning at around 85%. Yes, I had a huge flu, some other stuff. 85% back, I'm gonna do a walk and talk on the beach again. Today, of course, talking about the Bitcoin charts. It's about four Bitcoin charts, a trading tip, travel tip, of course, some live advice, of course, talking about the news. And it will probably be the last walk and talk on the beach of this year, because from tomorrow, it's a weekend again, and the weekends, I don't work too much. I celebrate as well life with my family, guys. And then we have New Year's Eve, so let's see. I'm not saying it's the last time, but probably it is the last time uh, on the beach today, guys. Now, let's quickly jump into the first part, the part of the charts, to show you what Bitcoin is going to do. Because there's a very exciting moment on the 29th that is telling us which direction Bitcoin will go. Now, let's quickly jump into the charts to show you exactly what I mean. Bam. The first chart for today, guys, is this four hour chart. You can see yesterday we topped out there around that 43,700 uh, level, guys. And we should be now um, finding, and we should be now finding support around that 42K level, guys. This is exactly the play that I will talk about a little bit later as well in the trading tip because we are seeing something very important happening today on the 29th. It's the expiration of $10 billion worth of options. And that is the play that we are seeing now on the charts between the bears and the bulls, guys. The bears want to close down below 42K. The bulls want to close above 44K, guys. It's very important to also consider these factors. I will talk about it later, guys. Now let's zoom out into the charts and look at the bigger picture of what we will expect for 2024. This is the next chart, guys. This chart is showing you that in the last decade, we saw this move now three times. And that is when the 50 moving average is crossing above the 100 moving average on the weekly chart. And the 50 crossing above the 100, we can see that happening the first time there in 2016. That was the start of that massive bull market. The second time we saw it was there in 2020. We crossed with that red line above the green line, again the start of that massive bull run. Now again, we can see, if we zoom in, that that red line again is crossing that green line. That is sort of a golden cross. It's not the official one that we need to cross the 200, but the 50 crossing the 100 is also considered as a beautiful golden cross and a very important one if you look back in history. Just look to those three moments where the red line is crossing above that green line. And also look to those three moments that the red line is crossing down below the green line. That's like the bear market bottom. So it's very important that you understand that these lines crossing have led to massive bull runs in the last couple of bull markets. And we are seeing this line at the moment cross that green line again. So that could lead to the run that you now see there on the chart that uh, was drawn on it by this person. I don't know who drew it, but that would lead to above 100K, guys. Now, next chart. This chart is showing you exactly what happened every time after the halving. Be aware, the halving is going to be in April 2024. Now, the first green arrow to be on the left of the chart, that was the first halving. Did we go down or did we go up? Indeed, we went up. Now, that second green arrow in the middle of the chart, that was the second halving. Did we go down or did we go up? Yes, we went down a little bit, but then we went massively up. Now, the third halving on the chart, what happened after that, that was in 2020, we saw that huge bull market all the way up to 70K. And now again, in April, we will see another halving. So we have seen these three halvings play out, massively positive, and we're gonna see the fourth halving now in April 2024, guys. So let's see on the next chart what that will lead to. And the next chart is then this chart, guys. Here you can see the Bitcoin daily stock to flow and price. You can see that we have always moved around those blue bands and the moment we go from the light blue into the dark blue that is the moment we can start to become way more bullish and the moment we start to cross that black line that mid line that is the moment that the bull market will be fully on and pulling the price towards that top black line a little bit higher above 100k and even in the end, maybe around 2030 or maybe 2034 to $1 million 
per Bitcoin. But at the moment, it's very positive to see that again, we held that band, that light blue, we're coming into the dark blue, we are nearing that midline, that black line, and when we cross that black line, guys, that's bull market full on. It's very important to understand this. Uh, this stock to flow model is created by Plan B. If you want more information, he's creating really cool videos uh, on a YouTube channel now. Go subscribe to his YouTube channel as well because he really takes the time, 15 minutes each video, to explain exactly how his model works. Yes, he grew with his YouTube channel in one year above like 100k subscribers. Uh, I'm, I'm at 67k subscribers after five years of vlogging every day. But that's how important I think the Plan B model is because everyone wants to know how it's playing out because it has been playing out every time again and again. And yes, he had one prediction wrong. I know that a lot of naysayers will say that, but he said 100k. Yes, we all said 100k. And that was just one of his models. He has three different models, guys. And the original stock to flow is still exactly right on play. So that was the chart for the day, guys. Uh, let's jump now into the trading tip. I hope you really enjoyed the charts, guys. And the charts always telling us the same story. You should be buying Bitcoin is the best store of value asset out there. It is in front of this beautiful halving event. It's going to happen somewhere now in April 2024. And that beautiful halving event will make sure Bitcoin will propel to new all time highs above the 70K level that we saw last time, maybe even to 100K that we wanted to see last time. Let's see. We don't know for sure, but one thing we know for sure is that Bitcoin is going to go higher than this level after the halving, guys. It's very busy on the beach already. It's like very early. I'm here at eight o'clock in the morning and I haven't seen the beach this busy before. So probably high season is getting started or something. I don't know. But um, I hope you enjoy these charts. Uh, let them be a lesson for you for 2024. Uh, subscribe to this channel. Tell all your family and friends to subscribe to this channel because tell them you bought Bitcoin between 16 and 20K because I was listening to this long haired dude walking on the beach and talking about Bitcoin blockchain in life. And that would maybe convince them at New Year's Eve to maybe subscribe to our channel as well because we got stuck at 67k subscribers i want to reach 75k or even 100k subscribers in 2024 so you should help me to push this channel a little bit bigger guys let's help help push 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 get yeah, the button nothing else don't push the wrong buttons because that might deactivate the wives now uh, let's quickly jump into the yeah my voice is not completely back i said 85 percent guys let's jump into the trading tip now guys Guys, I'm going to walk that side because the sun is really bad for the camera and we can't see a clear image. And when it comes to trading, guys, the trading tip for the day is not about the chart pattern, but something else. Because when it comes to trading, it's not only the charts that matter, guys. It's not only TA. Of course, there's also other factors that um, influence the price. Like, for example, today, there's an expiration of $10 billion worth of options. So $10 billion worth of options expire today. And it could be an uh, advantage for the bulls, but also for the bears. And those levels that we need to look out for are now, at the, for example, the bulls want to close above 44K. That would bring them, I think, 100 million in profit or something. The bears want to close below 42K. That will give them a shitload of profit. So it's very important to also consider these things in crypto, guys. So today, 10 billion worth of options expire that will influence the price. That's why we saw now that pullback to that 42K level again, because the bears want to push it below the 42. Now let's see if the bulls on this beautiful Friday, the 29th December, have the power to pull it back to 44K. Like I said to you yesterday's video, if we would reach 44K, there would be a lot of liquidations. Just liquidations of the shorts. And that's exactly the play that you now see on the charts, guys. It's the bulls versus the bears, like always, but now $10.1 billion worth of options on the table. So uh, that was the training tip for today. Don't only look at the charts, but also look at everything else that is happening in the industry. Now, the second trading tip for the day is, guys, that if you don't want to trade yourself, then join the Signals Group. We have a Bitcoin Family Signals Group. At the moment, last month, we made like 7 or 8% profit. This month, we are also around 8% profit. Uh, the one before was like 15% profit. So on average, we do pretty well. 
And yes, we will lose some trades, and yes, we will win some trades, but the winners will always be bigger than the losers. That's how our system works, guys. So it's not like a miracle, and no, we have no glass ball, and no, we won't only make profits, but on average, yearly, yes, we will be making a shitload of profits. And that is what you see in this table over here. That's all the results of the last 12 months, guys, without December, because that still needs to finish. But it's a beautiful result, guys. So you only need to follow the signals. You sign up to the signals group, which is for free. You just go to the website, the bitcoinfamily.com, and you fill five steps, and bam, you have access to the signals group. And from there, uh, you just start to follow those signals. When we say buy, you buy at those certain levels, you use a certain stop loss and all that stuff. And that is how, uh, we take you by the hand to do all those trades, guys. And yes, if you follow all of them, you will be in profit like we also are in profit, guys. Now, that was the trading tip for today, guys. Now, let's jump in the next part, in the travel tip, because we have been talking about traveling a lot this last 2023. I hope you really enjoyed all those travel tips, but every time again, it makes it more difficult for me to find a new travel tip, and I'm gonna jump into the next travel tip now. Bam. The travel tip for today, guys, is a very simple one. The best advice I can give you is walk, 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 and walk a little bit more. There's nothing more beautiful than during your travels to walk a lot. Walk through towns, uh, climb up a hill, just keep walking. Every time when you're walking while you're traveling and not taking like taxis or cars or motorbikes, you meet other people, you discover other places because you slow down. So you need to walk a lot. I walk the beach a lot because I love the, the noise of the waves. Probably you're like, fucking, go walk somewhere else. I can't understand, I can't hear you anymore with all those waves. But walking makes it possible for you to discover more. Just, just slow down a little bit. You walk through a town, you will see new stores, you will see new little streets, alleys. You will see buildings you have never seen before because normally pff, the taxi drives by. So for me, the best travel tip out there for 2024 is walk. It's not only healthy, but it's also very positive for the adventures you could be living because of that. Because you will meet new people and you will see new beautiful um, stores and everything, you know, and you can go in there. You don't need to say, ah, next time when I stop, I will go. No, you can walk in there because you're walking. So the travel tip for today is walk, 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 preferably on the beach like me because maybe when you are walking on the beach, you discover other people as well, and you can have a chat with them about Bitcoin blockchain and life, or maybe you can see a lot of Bitcoin booties on that beach. And that's, of course, what you want to see, the Bitcoin booties. I know, that was one for you there. Now, that was the travel tip for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed that one. Let's jump into the next part of the video. The beach is really busy this morning, guys. It's like uh, never been this busy. It's always normal quiet at eight o'clock in the morning. I think it's high season. A lot of people do, uh, want to walk the beach, of course. Um, not only walk, there's also people who want to run the beach. Somebody's now running towards me, a couple. That will be not a buoy for you guys. Um, now we are going to jump into the news because the news was not like that positive, not for the end of the year. I would have preferred a little bit more positive news, guys. But the news was that um, India is banning Binance, is banning um, Maxi is banning, I think six exchanges out there is going to be banned by India. I read the whole list of exchanges. You know which one was not there on the list? Bybit. So I see a shitload of exchanges with lower liquidities than Bybit. They're all going to be banned by India. But Bybit is still not on that list. So you can still use Bybit if you're in India. So if you're in India and watching my beautiful YouTube videos, start to use Bybit. Use the link down below. There is a full list of all the exchanges that is going to be banned by India. And again, somewhere on the Cointelegraph, you can check it for yourself. Or maybe I can paste it somewhere here over there. Then you can see which exchanges are all going to be banned in India. And of course, that is again a step of India into, what are they? I don't know, in the Middle Ages. I think they don't want to adopt cryptocurrencies in India. I don't know why. It's one of the countries that really could use a normal financial system, in my honest opinion. But there is something, every bull run, um, happening with India. Every bull market, India says, ah, we're gonna ban Bitcoin. Next bull market, ah, Bitcoin is illegal. After the bull market, ah, Bitcoin is legal again. As if they don't want their people in India to join the bull run. They don't want those people to become rich. I think that's the issue or something. I don't know why else you would like every time cancel Bitcoin just before the bull run and after the bull run say, ah, yeah, 
Now it's a good time, maybe we should allow Bitcoin again. It's like India doesn't know uh, how to make up their mind or something. Are we for Bitcoin? Are we against Bitcoin? Uh, do we want central bank's digital currency? Do, you want to, uh, do we want to fuck uh, the United States in the ass uh, and, and get their help? Uh, they don't know. They don't know. You know. They're always like, if I would be India, I would adopt the full Bitcoin standard. You do. All the Indians love gold. You know, India is full with gold. I think it's the country with the population that owns the most gold um, in average. So if you already have the most physical gold in average as a person, why wouldn't you own the most digital gold as a person now as well? India, don't run behind. You are one of those gold countries. Now you should adapt to the new gold, the 21st century gold. It's very simple. Don't stop the evolution of money. Don't stop the evolution of gold. And definitely don't stop the evolution of the combination of money of gold, which is called Bitcoin. It could propel the economy of India to highs that you have never seen before. Like the physical gold did in the old days, now this beautiful digital gold can do it nowadays. Guys, let's jump into the next part. The last part of the video, guys, of course, the inspirational part. And today I'm gonna copy a quote of some of these famous singers. I don't know which one it was again, but what she said, it was a her, it was a she. <laughs> yes, a woman. It's not like something in between, just a real woman. Uh, she said, do not let people dim your shine because they are blinded. Tell them to wear sunglasses. So I think it's very important that you understand that. You need to shine as bright as you can. Just blind everyone around you. And when they then start to complain that you're too bright, we just tell them, when wear sunglasses or adapt to my level. Never let people stop you and reaching out for your goals. And to reach your goals, you should be shining, you should be happy, you should be positive. You should be blinding everyone around you. Blind them as much as possible because you're shining so bright that they will be like, wow, what is she or he doing different? And then they will come to you and then you can give them the answer. Please wear your sunglasses first and then I will reply to you. And then you will teach them the same, that they could be changing their life by being positive, by being a star that is shining so bright that it's blinding other people, and by that convincing all those people to also start to shine bright. Because that would be the best thing, bright against bright. And that would make it able for them to also see all the beautiful possibilities all over the world that there are, guys. And there is a shitload of beautiful possibilities all over the world. It, we are not meant to do what most of us are doing. We are not meant to run in a hamster wheel. That's why it's called a hamster wheel. It's not called a human being wheel. It's called a hamster wheel. You should step out of the hamster wheel, open that gauge, even if it's a golden gauge, and start to shine as bright as possible and follow your dreams, follow your guts, and reach all your goals. And then you will understand that that golden cage that was created by those centralized entities, the governments, by enforcing the schools to brainwash you into those persons that you are at the moment, then you will understand the difference. I think it's very important that you start to realize that it's not like a core rule that you need to live this way. There's always possibilities to change. Yes, of course, not only the booties, also for the women out there, men. <laughs> I think it's very important. I'm not talking only about materialistic stuff. I'm not talking about being rich or being poor. I'm talking about the feeling you have inside, that feeling of success, that feeling of happiness, that feeling of like zen, that feeling of uh, fulfilled life, that feeling of, oh, I'm really happy like this. You don't need to have millions. You don't need to have billions. Yeah, and yeah, you see my eyes now that way, of course. Don't tell my wife, but it looks really nice if they run. <laughs> like, yeah, that makes me happy. I'm the most happy man now in the world because of my view. 85% <laughs> now went 88%. Yes, that's helping me recover from the sickness I have. Because materialistic stuff, you know, there is always people richer, there is always people better. So. It's very difficult, you know? When I'm walking here on the beach, for example, look, I can show you, here, I turn the camera. 
and I think, oh man, I, I really did well in my life. I'm very successful. But then I see those people there with the yachts. I think it's a $50 million yacht. I think the yacht would cost like a few million dollars per year to maintain. So they again have another level of success, a way to die. So if you are just in for it for the money, you know, there is almost no end to it. You will always will be more greedy and greedy and greedy. You want to be a bigger yacht. You want to have a private jet. You want to have a yacht that, that allows a helicopter to land on. You want to have two yachts. And then you want to have a house that fits a yacht. And then you want a house that fits a yacht and that can like fly, whatever. You know, there is no limit to greed. So that's not the happiness I'm talking about. The happiness I'm talking about is the happiness inside of you. The happiness of being happy of who you are at the moment and where you are at the moment. And you can't find that happiness if you keep running a hamster wheel that doesn't make you happy. That's why it's a wheel, it keeps running around. It's keep pretending that at the end somewhere you will be happy, but you just keep running circles that will not leave in that happiness that they are promising you that you will receive. Because mostly then you're too old to really enjoy that happiness that you should be having while you're now, between 20 and 50, 20 and 60, 20 and 70, whatever you want. So that's very important to understand, guys, that there is a different levels um, of happiness. And for me, that level of happiness is, for example, walking on the beach that fulfills already my beautiful morning, makes me very happy, makes me very, yeah, just internally happy, guys. And of course, I also have some dreams when it comes to accumulating wealth and, and, and Bitcoin going up, but that doesn't give me extra happiness. And of course, it's a little bit more easy talking for me, you might say now, because I have a shitload of Bitcoins. Yeah, and I did well, yes. But well, that shitload of Bitcoin could also crash to zero tomorrow, like the, the waves, boom, again, gone. But then still, I'm very happy with the last seven, eight years that I've been living the life like that. And then I will find something new. I will, I will find a job or whatever, or, and I will find a new project or find a new business or find something new, or, which makes me some income in a currency that we maybe don't know yet. We, we don't know. We, don't, we mustn't look too far in the future, but I'm gonna end the video now with that last part that I just opened it with, and it is very simple. You must never let other people dim your shine. It's your shine. If they are blinded, tell them to wear sunglasses. That was everything for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. I know it's not like top notch. It's not 100% yet. That's because I'm still working at 88% after seeing that booty. Maybe you're now at 89% as well because of the booties. Uh, but if you did enjoy the video, then please give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell, leave a comment. Let me know down below what do you think about the charts and all the other information in the video. I wish you an amazing Friday evening. If I don't see you again before the 31st, then I wish you a very happy and beautiful New Year celebration. But you will probably see me in a live on the day before that we go into 2024 guys thank you for watching i wish you an amazing day and uh, see you next time again bam